Welcome to my channel. I am Anita. I thought we would have a little bit of a ball with the stability ball. This is a wonderful routine that I've been using. Uh, I love to work on the floor, not having to stand up and just really get into those uh, deep muscles that help to support us in our posture and in our everyday life as well as in our yoga practice. So this is a routine that uh, involves engaging the buttocks, the legs, and the entire core basically with simple exercises using the ball. So I hope that you will enjoy it. I will let you know in the description box below the size of the ball that I have and the type that I have and what size you would need depending on your height. So you can find that information there. If you enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments how it felt and if you have any questions and feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you on the mat. Right. We're going to lie down on the floor. Make sure that you have a block or a pillow that you can place behind your head uh, in a little while. And we'll roll down. Just place our feet on the ball. Make sure that you have space behind you here and adjust yourself so that your lower, middle and upper back is resting on the floor. Your feet are on uh, 2 o'clock and 10 o'clock. First inhale, feel that expansion sideways and into your back. And then exhale, extend the legs. Inhale, draw the tailbone under, squeeze the buttocks, scoop the belly in and rise just up as high as you can. And then exhale, keeping the pelvis lifted, rolling down vertebrae by vertebrae, feeling even more of that scooping in. And then inhale, draw the knees in and expand. Exhale, extend. Inhale, draw the tail under, really squeeze the bottom of the buttocks, just lift up as high as you can. And then inhale, exhale, slowly roll it down, vertebrae by vertebrae, feel that scooping in. And then inhale, bend, let it expand. And keep going like this, exhale, inhale, exhale, Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, rolling it down, inhale, just keep going, exhale, inhale, exhale, Inhale. So what you start to notice is as you do this, it becomes very centered into the legs, the front, the back, the sides, and the insides, as well as you feel the buttocks very much engaged. And you feel everything is centered around your abdominals and your core and you're not tensing up the neck and the shoulders and the jaw. It's like they're just basically enjoying the ride. <laughs> Can you feel that? Yeah. Now we're going to change the leg position so the heels are going to be together and your feet are at um, 11 o'clock and 1 o'clock and we'll do exactly the same. So this shifts the attention into a different area of the legs. So inhale, let it expand except for the front. Exhale, extend the legs. Inhale, lifting it up just as far as you can. Exhale, roll it down. Scoop it in before the tailbone touches the floor and then inhale, bend. Exhale, extend. Inhale, gradually lift. Exhale, roll it down. 
inhale extend and if you find that the ball moves away then just gradually draw it in <laughs> it is a round ball after all so it's going to want to take off so that's another part of the core strength is to be able to maneuver this ball right and keep going a few more times and here you might notice that the inner thighs and the outer thighs become much more involved so only lift up as far as you can anytime that you find that you struggle in your neck and your shoulders or you want to tense up your jaw that's a sign that you've you're working a little bit too hard. So keep doing this and you start to notice that all of those deep muscles in the body start to kick in. All right, and then one last one. Now the feet are going to be together. So you're basically at 12 o'clock. Inhale, start off, let it expand. And then exhale, extend the legs. Inhale, lift it up, really squeeze the legs together and then slowly roll it down and bring it in. So it's important that you scoop in, right, that you draw the tail under, you just lift and then you slowly roll it down, letting the tailbone be scooped under, feel that scooping in of the belly and then extend. So in this process, you also get a wonderful stretch of the spine. I just love these movements and it just, it feels intense, you know, it works really deep. You start to feel it in a very positive way in the body, like it just pulls everything in, which is what we want, right? but it at the same time feels gentle on the joints, which is important as we get older. Yay, there we go, all right. Could you feel that? I could definitely feel that in a good way. All right, now we're going to take the block or the pillow, place it behind our head. I like to keep my head up a little bit higher actually, but you choose the height for your head that will feel good on your neck. The key thing here is that you don't want to feel that tension building up in your neck and in your shoulders. You want to really just feel yourself focusing on your midsection. So we're going to take the ball and you're going to anchor your hip bones into the floor. We're going to do the single leg stretch. So you want to extend and bend the legs and you can reach the arms behind you as far as you can. So we're going to do 15 of these. So one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five. Keep going and feel yourself cinching in the midsection there, trying to soften your jaw, Keep a little Mona Lisa smile there on your face. Feel your midsection working and adjust your arms according to how you feel. If you feel this in your back, it's a sign that you're working too hard. But just center into the core. Feel it supporting you. Good, a few more times. I lost track there because I was talking. <laughs> Good, and release. Huh. Just give it a little bit of a breather. Notice how you did. And then next we're going to do the double leg stretch. So extending both of our legs. So just make sure that you don't extend your legs further than what you can keep your lower back on the floor. So inhale here and then exhale, extend. Bring the arms behind. Inhale, draw it in and exhale, two. 
inhale exhale three inhale exhale four inhale exhale five inhale exhale six keep going towards 15 just do as many as you can remember it's the quality of the work that counts it's not the quantity so you want to make sure that your front belly doesn't pop out which it will do if you work your legs too far away or you draw your arms too far back so it's important that you find the range of motion that works with the strength of your core right so as you keep doing it you start to notice it working deeper and deeper mm -hmm. so exhale as you extend inhale as you draw in and you could do it you know inhale as you extend and exhale as you draw in as well good a few more times so if I do more than 15, then let's consider that to be for good luck. <laughs> Yay, and release. Woohoo! That felt good. Could you feel that? Yeah. So the next one is going to be an oblique rotation. So you can take the ball away. And now what we're going to do is place the ball between our legs and keeping our legs as extended as we can. It's fine if you need to keep your legs a little bit more bent, then bend them and bring the ball a little further down. But here you really have to use your inner thighs and use the pelvic floor and dig in to the deep transverse abdominus, which is our deepest abdominal muscle. And that's why you wanna feel that little scooping in, okay? So the legs are going to rotate like this. So you really have to engage to stabilize. And then we're going to place our hands behind our head and we're going to rotate over and over just exhale inhale exhale and inhale and if breath can be you know quite free here you want to try to exhale as you rotate side to side and it's important that you rotate from the bottom of your ribs and you just basically just let your head and your shoulders follow the rotation of the torso so much in the same way as we do in yoga so you don't want to work from your head or your neck so that way you'll feel it more into the core good a few more times stay with it but just notice what is your limit and release oh yeah so you definitely feel the inner thighs <laughs> going on <laughs> and supporting you there yay so good now we're going to turn around onto our abdomen to strengthen the bum and the deep abdominal muscles. It's important here that you adjust your pelvis so that you feel your pubic bone is on the floor and that you lift your navel up towards your spine. So very much in the same way as we do in yoga in a baby cobra or locust or bow pose position. And keep your legs extended, they can be a little bit apart. Press the tops of the feet into the floor. Now you can place your hands on the ball at like 10 o'clock and two o'clock. So you in exhale here and then inhale, just lift up as far as you can. Exhale down and then inhale, lifting it up. 
So here, because you've stabilized your pelvis, your lower back is secure. And as you lift up, use your deep back muscles to support you. Inhaling up and exhaling down. So try to experiment with it and see where it is best for you to keep your arms and how high up you can go. So it does involve some flexibility as well. Good, let's do a few more pressing the hands against the ball. So the connection to the ball supports you, but you wanna feel like it is your core muscles that are doing the work to help you to lift. I hope that makes sense. Trying to inhale on your way up and exhale on your way down. Great, excellent. Now the next one is a little strange. We're going to try to place the ball between our legs. And I realize my ball is a little bit big, but it actually works a little bit better if the ball is a little bit smaller. But if you can get it between your legs and squeeze the ball with your legs and then keep your legs bent, okay? Just hold it here and staying on your forearms, lifting your chest, keeping the legs bent, and then squeeze and release your legs against the ball, just as much as you can. And you'll feel the inner thighs, and you might feel it deep into the buttocks. So I have sciatica because I have an, a herniated L4 disc, so I feel this a lot, but in a good way, on my left leg, because I'm working a lot on creating strength into my buttocks and my hamstring without it affecting the sciatica too much. You can also just hold it as an isometric exercise. Good, and then release. Okay, now I'm going to keep the legs extended, squeezing the ball. So now my legs are a little bit more lifted. Keep that pelvic positioning, really squeeze your buttocks, use the inner thighs, lift through the pelvic floor, stretch the arms away, like a locust pose in yoga. And if you want to, you can interlace the fingers, stretch the arms, and pin your shoulder blades together. Good, breathe with it. Breathe with it. Soften your neck. Great, and release. Woo -hoo. Push the floor away from you and come up. And this really works. All of the muscles that are considered to be a part of our core. The whole entire midsection, the inner thighs, pelvic floor, as well as our buttocks. So now let's just stretch it out a little bit. Keep the feet together, knees apart. Just stretch the arms away, holding on to the ball. Just let your head drop in between. So you feel a stretch in your chest, your shoulders, but also your buttocks and your lower, middle, and upper back. And if you want to let go of one arm, roll over to your side a little bit, and then shift and do the same on the other side. That feels good to stretch the side body. Good. Come back to the center. And there you have it. I hope that you had a ball. <laughs> it's lovely, I feel, just to work on the floor and just 
engage muscles maybe that you're not used to engaging and you feel your muscles in a, in a very different way for everything else that you need to do. So I hope that maybe something awakened within your muscles in this routine and that you enjoyed it. Keep doing it like every other day and then you'll see within you know a week and two or two that it really makes a huge difference you know in the tone of the muscles from simple effective exercises like this. So let me know in the comments how it felt. I look forward to hearing from you. Have a great day. Feeling strong. <laughs>